Hello Tron Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome to our 12th and final Road to 1.3 series. This started as an insanely fun project. The goal of the series was to get a character all the way to the events part of the game and teach people a little bit about it on the way. Now, this has been an interesting learning curve for me because I've learned a lot about the game just through doing this series and I've learned a lot about you guys because you've all been active in the comments the whole time and I really do thank you for that. So thank you so much for coming back every week and just supporting the channel, it's been awesome. This has been my longest running series in terms of time. This is the 12th week uh, and I'm really proud of that and it's actually being replaced with something really awesome next week so there'll still be content every Thursday, Saturday and Sunday but this will be the end of just this series in particular so let's have a good time today. So I want to do a quick recap of some of the stuff that I've done. I had to um, basically summarize a lot of stuff that I did in the past um, because I wanted to kind of progress further and this was like stuff that takes forever so first off I fought a solar eclipse and I got the demon scythe I killed Golem a few times I killed the wall of flesh a few times I reforged some new items found the rainbow slimes and I fought the wall of flesh even more now the reason I did all that was because I wanted to basically improve our accessories uh, as you can see here so we now have uh, we now have the Celestial Stone, and we're going to have something else in a minute. We've just got to go craft it first. So the plan for today is to kill Duke Fishrun. Now, that's the new house that we actually bought. Uh, well, we actually built. And it just reminded me of a 1.2 spoiler that I saw a long time ago. The map's completely broken. Uh, and so I just thought I'd build it, because uh, we need more space for some NPCs. One thing I also did was I also built... There's another house I actually built. I mean, we need to light up our way. Let's hold a torch. <laughs> I've got the axe now. Um, come on then. Okay. Alright, let's go over to here. Alright, so it's past here. And it's here. I also built this mushroom biome area because um, we need to speak to this guy. You see, the mushroom NPC will only spawn if you have an overworld mushroom biome. And so how I basically did it was I bought seeds from the dryad and I just built this. It's all made of mud. It was this old, like, old jungle. Okay, this is what we need to buy, the dark blue solution. We need quite a bit of it. Okay, because we already have a clentaminator here. Which we bought from the steampunker. Now, we need to travel back home. See, this is all a series of progressions today. We've already got the fisherman here. We just need to check, where is our steampunker? Right, she's here. Because there's one thing that she sells that we are actually going to use for a boss fight. Okay, come on. Up here? Here we go. Hello, can I have the Blendomatic? Oh, I don't have any money for the Blendomatic. There's something I could probably sell you, though. I don't really care for. I tell you what, there'll be something in this chest, I imagine. Yeah, we've got some meteorite. And we've got some tin. Don't really care for any of them. Will that make ten gold? Probably not. Alright, five gold. Um, let's see what else we can sell. What do we not really care about? I don't really care for the, the tiny Miramasa or the gold bow. Or the harpoon. Hmm. Or this water bolt. What will you give me for these? Are we on seven? Alright, we need to sell a little bit more. Um, four or a calcum. I can sell that. I can sell the tungsten. Don't really care for that either. There we go. Now we have the blendomatic. Now, if we put down the blendomatic, say here, um, what it lets us craft is asphalt block. Uh, we can craft a whole hell of it because we need to All right, okay, so basically the the trick to asphalt is if you've never seen it before I know it's quite dark. So um, where's my fairy bell? Okay Basically, it's a block that speeds up your movement if you've never seen it before So if I put down maybe like this much um, It basically just lets you run quite fast you'll see run quite fast um, and it's used basically just for running away from enemies and stuff but it's good for Duke fish run because Duke fish run moves like way too fast so if you use this as your platform for the bottom it usually makes for a like a lot better of an experience so we'll just put that there now there was another thing that we have to craft I believe because we we're gonna upgrade some accessories um, I keep all my like extra snip bits over here okay so what we got we have so this is all the stuff that I've got from killing the um, golem so many times, and I killed the wall of flesh a lot. So we need a sorcerer's emblem, we need a warrior's emblem, 
We need a ranger emblem, and I believe we need another warrior's emblem. What else might we need? Well, we already have a lot of stuff in here. Um, okay. One thing to note, um, this world is going to be up to download in the description below. Uh, a lot of people ask for that, and I don't see why I can't do that, because, you know, it lets you go and check out some of the stuff that I've actually found. Like, a lot of stuff's been, like, I don't know, off-camera? I guess not. Not a lot of it's been off-camera, but a fair bit. Okay, so we're off to the crafting station. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry it's so dark. Okay, so we're off to here, the Goblin's Workshop. So we want the Avengers Emblem, which increases our damage. Um, we can combine this with the Power Glove, which makes a mechanical glove. And then we can combine that with the Magma Stone, which makes Fire Gauntlet. This is increases melee knockback and inflicts fire damage on attack. So we put this, maybe, maybe get rid of this. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know whether I want this or this. Hmm. I want the frost spark boots. Okay. There we go. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. <laughs> that is so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So you may be wondering why did we cr why did we get so much blue solution? Well, it all has to do with how you spawn Duke Fishron because Duke Fishron is the god of the sea essentially. And what we need to do is we need to craft uh, we need to catch a truffle worm before we are able to actually like fighting and the only way to craft truffle worms are to get a bug net and to catch them in the underground mushroom biome now the reason that i have to basically make my own is because our one is insanely small as you can see here and so what you can do is you can convert i can convert maybe hmm this area here i can make this all mushroom biome and then that'll just basically increase our chances of finding one so come on let's go oh wow i really like this Look at how beasty this is. What's the damage got up to as well? 112. That's going to be awesome. We're going to kill this thing in seconds, I'm telling you. Well, not exactly seconds. <laughs> okay, so you sell me a bug net for one gold. Um, and that's all we need. All right, so let's go to the jungle and let's go convert it to mushroom biome. Let's go. Okay, so we're here. Let's do this. Um, get our contaminator out and... Toosh! I love the contaminator. I think it's so badass. And it's not even tearing through our ammo, thankfully. Um, so how much do we want to turn to... So we don't want to turn too much, because that way it will like lower our chance of getting Chlorophyte. Which we quite like. We quite like our Chlorophyte. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. I love this thing. It reminds me so much of just being hyped for 1.2. So I feel like this is maybe enough. I am not sure. See, the thing is, I've not actually, um, like, hunted for something like this in a very long time. Like, I've not hunted for a truffle worm, like, I don't know, for forever since I posted my original Duke Fish from fight. So, that was a long time ago. Okay, I feel like that's enough. I love it. <laughs> it looks awesome. Okay, so I imagine we just wait and we see if we can find one. That's the goal. Um, hopefully the jungle, like, enemies stop spawning. I'll have to kill them first, I imagine. Let's make sure we've got everything sorted, though. Oh, it's so cool. It just looks so nice. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, let's find one. Okay, guys, so I think I found one. Now, I know how this works. You have to sneak up on it, charge, and then swing, right? Oh, we got it! Oh, my God, first try. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I believe you only need the one. To, uh, to actually do it, so we'll go and set up our little arena and we'll see if that works. Oh, there's another one. Let's try it again. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't swing. I didn't swing at the right time. Okay, but that was uh, that's pretty. It's pretty fun. That is. And we're actually getting. Come here. Let's not. Let's not be too dangerous. Let's just take every. See, there's another one just down there. That's weird. That because not technically. If you get too close though, hmm. I feel like we're gonna get too close for it. Let's wait until it gets a bit away. Yeah, that one borrowed away. <laughs> uh, I feel like we should... That's, I, I just feel like we should get another just in case, but... Hmm. We should be alright. We should be alright. <laughs> Any more truffle worms around? No. Okay, let's just go and let's just go and craft our little, like, arena, per se. 
And um, one thing we actually have to craft is the actual uh, fishing rod. Because I don't actually even have a fishing rod, so I believe the easiest one to craft is just an iron one. I think that would work just fine. Hmm, we'll see. So I decided that I'd wait until the warning moon, um, because it seems like it's coming up soon. Um, and <laughs> yeah, this spawned. Great. So we're going to have a lot more money, I guess. <laughs> but um, if you wait till the warning moon, you can actually buy a mechanical rod off the... Um, the uh, ba -ba -bum, the mechanic, and I thought that it would probably be a bit better at summoning the boss because I, I was never too sure on what you actually needed to summon it. Um, so I believe a better bow will equal more chance to summon. I believe um, that's what I'm going with anyway. But yep, guess I have to fight this thing again. <laughs> well, it seems as though we got quite a bit from that. <laughs> um, yeah, just, just some random stuff. I also found this when I was looking for the drivel worm thing. Magic quiver, pretty cool. So we got a discount card, uh, and we're going to actually use this now. Um, I believe you just equipped it. Yeah, it's an equipable. Um, okay, do you sell the... Yeah, there you go. Mechanical rod. A little bit cheaper, not bad. I wonder if this thing works on the um, the Goblin Tinkerer, because that'd be cool if it does. Um, because what I'm thinking is that we have enough stuff now to reforge... Um, before we actually go do it, let's just go do it now. I've, already, I've still got a chair in my inventory. It's great. I don't really, I don't really care for... I'll get my dog, though. I don't really care for gold furniture. Um, alright, where's my Goblin Tinker? I believe he's up here. Yeah. Okay. Reforge. What can we get from this? So, 14. Brisk. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. I tell you what, how much money we got left? I'll take free defense. Screw it, I'll take that. Put our defense up to 57. Alright, so we are ready, essentially, because we've already got a rod now. We've got a truffle worm. We've got some potions already. Um, I don't think we really need much more. So let's go build this arena and let's see what we can do. Okay, so I've built the platform like this and it goes really fast. Look at this. Woo! Gotta make sure people don't jump on it like them slimes are doing. But yeah, it goes really, really fast. Woo! <laughs> Into the ocean. Okay, so how this thing works is I'm meant to chuck it in and just go for it. Are you guys ready? Let's buff up before we do this. Okay, when this bobs... That means I have a bait. There we go. Okay. Oh, it does a lot of damage. I forgot about this. Right, the plan is to basically just run away from it. Fire away. And just go for it. Alright, that wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Health. The trick is to, like, um, is to loop back on yourself afterwards. Like that. And then that way you can dodge him. Well, I need to do some more damage. <laughs> the thing is, if we run, we avoid him. So, that's the added benefit. <laughs> this is scary how much damage he does. This may be a big problem. <laughs> and I imagine that our buff, our fire gauntlet, isn't doing any damage to him because it's like he's. he's you know what I mean? He's made of water, so... At least not made of water, but you know. You get me. Yeah, we're not... Alright, watch out for them Sharknadoes. Okay, so we're not 100%... Oh, okay, it's gone aggressive. Oh no, don't switch. Okay, basically when he goes aggressive, he does more damage. And he's harder to dodge. Yeah, he's hard to dodge. Okay, heal. Okay, we've got to be very careful now. To not get hit. And not get hit by them Sharknadoes. Okay, come on. Alright, he's doing his spinning pattern. That means we can jump over him. Drop down. Okay. Oh, God. They they are strong. Come on. We can run faster than him. We can do this. Alright, this... I think this is going to be it. I think it's where we die. Because I am going to struggle to dodge them. Oh, no. We can't even heal. We can't even heal. Yeah, we are screwed. We are screwed. <laughs> Oh wow, that thing is hard. That thing is hard as hell. So what do we do? Well, I think that we could probably maximize on a health regeneration by putting down some fire, like some camping fires. Um, and hopefully that works, because we're going to be running past them all the time, and we need to get better at dodging him. So let's go find another truffle worm, and let's do this thing again. <laughs> okay, so here's what I've done. I've put down a load of campfires. I've increased the building I went and collected five truffle worms. I've swapped out, um, I swapped the spark boots for the menacing cross necklace, 
And hopefully this works. So let's just try this thing. It's going to get dark as well soon, so... Okay. Let's buff up. And when this bobs, we're ready. Come on, we can do this. Alright, okay, so it's up. We're starting. We're not taking any damage this time. Uh, well, we are going to, but we're not taking any damage at the start. And I've increased this by not by not by a lot, but by some by a, by, a, by an amount. But through actually like losing the frostbite boot, we've actually lost seven percent of our movement speed. But hopefully that doesn't um, affect us too much. Okay, so we don't need to get hit by these shark natives. That was that was stupid. Okay, heal up. Um. Okay, come on. Yeah, let's not get hit by the shark natives because they're going to be a problem. Hit by these bubbles. Come on. Oh. Come on, we need to increase our speed a bit. Alright, so we get we've got this so far. Our life regen is up. We have only 19 seconds left to heal. It's not bad. We've got increased invincibility after we take a hit as well, which is really gonna help. Come on, corruptors, you go to work. <laughs> If this doesn't work, we're going to reforge our, um, what was the weapon that we reforged that had free defense? We're going to change that to free damage, or four damage, hopefully. Okay, so he's enraged. Alright, that's good. We're in second phase. And we're not taking too much damage, which is good. We're not getting hit by them Sharknados, are we? Nope. Okay, come on. We got this. We got this. Okay, hit by them Sharknados, come on. We got this. We've got this, haven't we? I hope so. <laughs> I feel like we have. Usually I'm pretty open when I think like I'm going to die. <laughs> okay. Let's flip over him. Let's drop down. Oh, we're missing the Sharknados, that's awesome. Come on. Let's take another hit. Help him get up. Right, we need to speed up a bit. Come on. We've got this. We have got this. We know we have. What's he on? Not on much. He can't take anymore. <laughs> Not get hit by that Sharknado. Let's just leap over it. Because the actual water does damage as well. Which got us last time. Yes! We did it. What'd he drop? What'd he drop? The Tsunami. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it looks beautiful as well. Wow. Well, um, we've still got four more fights to do. Why don't we just do a few more? Um, yeah, let's let's have a few more fights, see how we do. Because we've still got buffs and such, so I don't see why we can't do it. Okay, so second fight is done. <laughs> we had no complications. Unpleasant Tempest Staff. Okay, so what do we get from this? So what happens now? Okay, so summons Sharknadoes to fight for you. Oh, so it's like a minion. Ah, I like it. I like it. It's cool. Whoa, <laughs> that hurt. Okay, we'll use this again. So we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep fighting him. And I'm going to show you all the drops that we get. Because it'll be pretty fun. I actually <laughs> lost this one. The, the point what I was doing was I was actually hitting the um, Sharknadoes. Oh, God, it, just, it was all going really good. And then it just got out of hand. <laughs> oh, no. I actually, I think that's it, you know. I think we're going to call it a day at that, because it's been pretty fun, hasn't it, guys? Um, so far in this series, I have built... Um, I've built this tree house. I have built this lovely jungle house. I've played with the uh, dungeons and the corruptions. I've gone to hell. Look at me. Look at all the stuff we've done together. And it's only been 12 weeks. It's been awesome. Here's our little Duke fish run area. It's been absolutely amazing, guys. I really thank you all for sticking around, supporting the show completely. You all have been awesome. Uh, just to name a few, you've all been just fantastic. Like, I really do thank you all for leaving your comments and your suggestions and stuff like that. This series is being replaced by something completely new. Uh, it's not trial related, but it is pretty awesome because it links in with the top five series that I do. And that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. You are amazing. And uh, it's been really nice for you guys to come out and support me like this. Whew. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you're all excited for 1.3 just like I am. This series has really hyped me up for the next big update, and make sure to subscribe and stay subscribed because all that is to come. So thank you all for watching.
Peace.